Can a mind be as vast as a universe? Alan Turing was the man who tried to decode human thought itself. He was born in London in 1912. Even as a child, he was different, emotionally withdrawn, yet infinitely curious. His parents worked abroad, leaving him mostly in the care of nannies and the cold walls of boarding schools. Turing's fragility came from exactly this balance, extreme intelligence, but not enough love. During his school years, mathematics became his refuge. He found peace in numbers. Numbers didn't judge. Years later, World War II erupted. Alan Turing was called to Bletchley Park to solve the most complex code in human history, Enigma, the unbreakable cipher. But his mind saw what others couldn't. Scientists today say that high intuitive intelligence creates extraordinary synchronization frequencies between neurons. Turing's brain worked like a quantum computer, driven by both logic and intuition. And he succeeded. He broke the code that saved millions of lives. But who would have thought that a hero could be destroyed by his own nation? Because Turing was gay. In those days, it was a crime. He was tried, convicted, and forced into chemical treatment. Turing felt that pain deeply. At the height of his genius, he reached the depths of despair. Still, he kept working. He asked the world, can a machine think? It wasn't just a scientific question. It was existential. And in 1954, he ate an apple laced with cyanide. Today, we know Turing triggered a quantum leap in human consciousness. His way of thinking became the foundation of artificial intelligence. But more than that, he reminded us, consciousness is not just intellect, it's emotion, empathy, and being. Alan Turing teaches us this, intelligence without love is fragile. Yet the frequency of a soul cannot be silenced because pure thought, like light, can never truly be lost to darkness. Have you ever felt that some people aren't reborn when they die, but when they are finally understood? Alan Turing was one of those souls.